And thanks much. Let's get to the breaking news where an officer involved shooting is in Prince George's County. We've been covering this since early this morning. And we just learned the suspect in the investigation is dead. We want to get right out to Fox 5 Stephanie Ramirez. She is live now with what we know, Steph, at this hour. Marissa, Steve, good morning. So the New County Police Chief, uh, this is uh, Mr. David Rice, came out just moments ago confirming that this is a fatal police investigation here, a fatal police shooting investigation involving two New Carrollton police officers. You can see a cruiser uh, on the scene of a entrance to a laundromat here. It's right behind that forensics van uh, that just parked there not that long ago. Uh, what we are being told by the police chief is that the two officers involved are okay, but he wouldn't say any more, saying that that is now under the purview of the Maryland Attorney General's office that now investigates police involved shootings uh, per state law. We can tell you radio calls of this incident started coming in just before 5 o'clock this morning. This is some of what we heard on the dispatch recording site, Open Megahertz. Take a listen. You can have shot fire, shot fire. If you will have two guns. I got be shot. Oh, leave the gun down. So that's the money to back the cross on the lever. You get out the way. Come here, come back. Get out the way. Start me some units here now. We're in front of this, the uh, laundry mat on Annapolis Road. I copy. Eight units to back new cross on signal 13. And some of the radio transmissions also said that this was connected to a carjacked vehicle. We are still trying to confirm those details, but I can tell you all morning police have been focused on a Nissan Rogue on scene here about two to three hundred feet away in the direction to my left from the laundromat scene location where the police cruiser is parked. Now, we're still trying to piece together what's going on through from sources. I can tell you one thing I'm being told is that investigators are looking into whether this scene may be connected to a murder that happened in D.C. yesterday. There is also a, another police-involved shooting on I-95 earlier, just after 2.30 this morning, involving state police and a Nissan. But we do not know at this time whether that scene involving a Nissan is connected to this scene involving a Nissan. Hopefully, we'll have more updates for you coming up in the next hour. But again, a very serious investigation here. One person killed in this police officer-involved shooting. Guys.